what's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create a multi-user login form in java using mysql database that means when individual login in the system as a different role different form need to be upon means redirect based on the user role in the process of solving the real world problem you may need to develop such a system which may need to have a multiple user that is multi-user login system in your developing application and when each individual enter their associated username, password and their role, they need to redirect to the only certain feature of an application that they only need to use it. So in general, there may be a, a different user the, uh, like uh, admin, normal user or some other user. So in general, administrator uh, access all the feature and normal user should not. So before doing this project, if you do not know how to create a login form in Java, you must need to watch the previous video. The link is in the description. After watching this video, you will know which application need to have in your system, which server application need to use, and you will know about JRE, JDK, environment variable and etc so i am considering you have all the required application in your system and basic knowledge of java so let's start first of all open the netbin id go to file click on new and then select java java application click on next and then give the application name multi-user login like multi-user login and then click on finish And then right click over here, click new and then select the J frame form and then click finish. Now from the palette drag to level. And then to text field. One combo box. And then finally one button now change the text of each level here goes username and then here goes password and then here goes select user type you can change the text font of each level from here similar process for other and then simply expand this over here and then over here and then over here now change the text and then change the variable name to txt user this one to txt hash and change the text and then right click over the combo box go to property and then from here click on model and set the item like admin user i am going to add the two user in our system that is admin and the user click ok then click ok change the j button text box to login now we complete the part of designing our application and then uh, uh, we need to uh, create a database in MySQL database. Now for this you need, first of all you need to have a WAM server in your system and then run your WAM server. I already run it. Now open up a browser and then type localhost and then go to phpMyAdmin and type the username as root and password is empty. The default username is root and password is empty and then click go click on new and then here goes multi-user login type the database name multi-user login click on create type the table name multi-user login and the number of field is three click go and here goes username here goes password and then here goes user type and select the type data type square care square care and then length 50 
50 50 and then click save now we need to uh, save the username password and user type in our database uh, so that when the user uh, enter the login uh, detail that is username password and select the user type our application will check either their input is uh, same as with the database content they need to log in in the system otherwise uh, they should not log in so for this i'm going to enter the data like admin admin and then admin and then i'm going to type the another username and password for the another user like user and then click go now click on browse here you can see add this admin admin and user type is admin 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 and user type is user so go back to netbin and then double click on login or just uh, click on source and i'm going to declare the variable here connection con is equal to null prepare statement pst is equal to null and then result set rs is equal to null and now alt and enter over and then alt and enter and then alt and enter now go back to design click double click on login and here we are going to write the code to the, the record operation try and catch exception i'm going to use the try and catch exception every time you are working with the database uh, the better option is uh, to work with the try and catch exception the string query i'm going to write the string now i'm going to select write the select query so for this where username is equal to what and password is equal to what and then user type is equal to what now i'm going to connect this application without database so for this driver manager dot get connection jdbc java database connectivity mysql localhost in the database name is multi-user login and the database credentials are root and empty now I'm going to prepare the statement of the query that is PST is called con dot prepare statement we need not to change the parameter our variable name is query so now PST dot set string property one and here goes tx txt user dot get text let me catch the exception catch exception ex the option pen dot so message dialog this x dot get message now again here pst dot we need to pass the value 
we pass the username over here and now we're going to pass the password and user type so psd dot set string here goes the property two then txt pass dot get text and then pst dot set string now we're going to pass what we're going to do is when the users run this application and select the user type that is i add the two user type the admin and user you can add more than two so when the user uh, click this user type this value should pass here so for this string dot value of we're going to change the uh, combo box value to a string so our combo back user variable is the combo box one dot get selected item now rs dot sorry rs is equal to execute the query pst dot exit query and store the result in the result set so if rs dot next means if there is result what we are going to do is first of all we are going to display the message to the user the option pan dot so message dialog this and then here goes username and password matched and you are logged in as rs dot get string here goes the column name column name is user type now if the user select the first item that is in the index 0 so for this the combo box one dot selected sorry get selected index is equal to zero what we are going to do is we are going to display the next form so for this i am going to add the new form here like admin and the another form user now when the user select the uh, user type to admin we are going to display the this admin from admin a is equal to new admin a dot set visible to true and then where we must hide this uh, form so this dot set visible false now else the user select the another user type that is user what we are going to do is else we are going to display the another form that is user u is equal to new user u dot set visible to true and then this dot 
set visible to false now if the user type username and password do not match we need to display the message j option pan dot so message dialog in my system i am using only two user so i use this condition if the uh, combo box wonders uh, get selected index is equal to zero and do this one and else do this one but in your system you may have a multiple user uh, let's say five user and uh, what you need to do is you need to write the code like this else else if and then type your condition over here like j combo box one dot get selected index is equal to is equal to one and then do this and again uh, type else if and your condition is equal to two and then three and then four and finally else so you can do like this and uh, we need to have a mysql connector so for this you need to go to mysql.com go to download go to community and then go to mysql connectors and then click on connectors slash j as you all know and then select your operating system platform independent and then download this zip file after downloading this zip file extract this file and go back to netbin id right click over this libraries click on add jar slash folder and then select your mysql dash connector dash java and your version dot jar file and can I click open now i am going to run my application run application now type the username admin admin and select the user type to admin and then click login message box is displaying so username and password matched and you are logging as admin and then ok this form is display and again run this file and user I use the password uh, field is a text field because you, you can see but you need to use the password field over here here goes admin here goes admin and then select the user type to user and then click login match and you are login it user and then new form is display now again run this and type the wrong username and password and select the anyone and then click ok username and password do not match so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about these uh, tutorials and give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and thank you once again for watching this tutorial have a good day bye bye